like a wandering ember I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran was back where I began No matter the rain, no matter the storm I'm coming on, I'm coming on Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming on Hello hot people, so hope you guys are doing great. As you can see, I'm still in sunny Coldfoot, Alaska today. And believe it or not, it actually gets sunny here. Who knew? Uh, you know, Coldfoot is cold a lot of the year, but right now it's actually baking in the sun, which is awesome and amazing. We are ahead of schedule. We are killing it. I am so impressed with our crew right now. We've got roughly two months or so worth of work done in nine or 10 days. So very happy with all that. Heading home soon, but before we roll out today's video, I did want to say thank you guys so much for those of you that take time to watch our videos and leave comments. There was a comment left on a video a few videos ago that I've been thinking about and contemplating about ever since. And it was a great question. It was a simple one, or what I thought was, and that is, do we regret selling our business? And I mean, you guys have been around with us long enough to know that last year and a half or so, there's just so many life changes and things that happened uh, and figuring out this next stage of life. So I thought that's a wonderful question to try to tackle there's a lot of moving parts with it and I want to get into it but first of all I think I want to go do that back at home with my wife I'm super excited to get back home and we'll go do that but first let's go ahead and go to the visitor center they've got a visitor center over here in Coldfoot I want to go check out real quick see how that looks and then we're gonna go hop on a plane fly back to Fairbanks drive to North Pole get back to the family and again we'll tackle that question and thank you guys so much for just checking in and being a part of our family so let's go to the visitor center Checking stuff out. Okay. Got lots of exhibits, natural history stuff in the back, brochures, and you can ask questions. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. They missed you a lot. Especially Livy. I was, I was concerned that Livy uh, like, well, forgot about me. I don't know why I, I would think <laughs> that because I was gone for so long. I'd show her videos of you. Yeah. And she'd no, see pictures every of Every time she would, she'd be da 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 on FaceTime and stuff. Yeah. Cute. I mean, so, I miss you a little. Just a little? Okay. 
I missed your face a lot. Yeah, that was... I'm not used to being gone that long. I was telling them earlier, someone left a comment and asked us, and actually I'm curious your opinion on this. They said, uh, or something along the lines of, do you regret selling your business? Ooh, GRS so, controls. GRS controls. And we, um, so we started that 13 years ago, for those of you that don't know, and we sold it about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I was pregnant with Evelyn. Yeah. When we decided to do that, take that plunge. And when we started, my initial goal was, hey, yeah, this is how I sold to her. I'm like, hey, we could start our own business. This is going to be great. I could probably work six months out of the year, do a couple big jobs, turn everything else down, and spend more time with the family. And she's like, yeah, sounds great. Awesome. Good stuff. And then the economy shifted drastically at the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And I had to work on, I couldn't say no to any jobs, like all these small jobs. And he was like, out of town a lot. Yeah, a all lot. the time. Because it was a, pretty much a one-man show for years. The first, At least for the first two to three. And then I yeah. picked up people and we got more and more employees. And so now, retrospect, looking back from you, do you have any regrets with us selling the company? Or were you happy with that decision? Oh, you were miserable. <laughs> yeah. He was under so much stress almost all the time. So I saw a huge change in his demeanor. Like... He wasn't nearly as stressed. Now, did he go a little far the other way? Did he go a little... Did I go super chill mode on you, babe? He went really chill mode, and I am not that way. So, I'm like, let's go. And he's just like, mm. balance, of course. But he is, I think, starting to try to find a little bit of a happy medium, maybe. Where he kind of does a little bit here and there. We're going to have some projects, our mm -hmm. own building projects coming right. up. That's going to be great because that requires effort from him. And uh, I think it'll just be, it's good for your psyche. I don't think it's good for you to just chill. Yeah. But I also don't think it was good to be under that much stress. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of stress. His grandpa suffered a stroke. Yep. Uh, he was close to your age, maybe right. slightly older. older. Yeah. Um, and that was a red flag of, you know what, we don't really want to experience that. So um, he was good. He was okay. But it his grandpa but there was a few times i felt some. like hey i don't know if i'm having like pre-stroke symptoms or what's up because i would let things get to me and i just you know everyone just calls you with all of your problems right and and i was always there to fix them and then i it just, just became too much he just kept yeah. getting buried and buried and buried more people more people more people mm -hmm. and he just couldn't quite pivot that or manage that and yeah. it's hard sometimes for a dude to <laughs> say like hey i can't handle that because, at least for me, it's the, rah, you know, I can, I'll do what it takes and all these things, but <laughs> that just years and years of going and going, where, but, and, and like I said, looking back though, that wasn't the original goal of what we were trying to right. do. Right, that wasn't the original goal. And for me, the one thing I do, like, if I had to look back what I wish, or maybe it's not a regret, but uh, I made pretty good money doing mm -hmm. it, right? So there was that. And I, I feel we made goals. With I mean, it served a purpose. Yep. It got us to be more financially independent. It helped us to be more flexible with our schedule. It actually was super cool for the vlog. Oh, I guess that's true. Because he got to true. take you to so take many Take you guys so places, many places. Which is kind of neat. Um, but And then the kind of, you know, to bridge the gap of trying to spend more time with, with family, that's mm -hmm. what you saw at my little office trailer over there. Right. So we could still, He could still know, be right here. Be here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but yeah, the money I would say is definitely an adjustment because yep. I mean, we, I mean, we're still getting small payments every month from mm -hmm. the, the new owners. Um, you know, and, and some, you know, some of our customers, I, I kind of got pretty close to of trying to help out and making sure they were taken care of. And I do miss some of that. Um, but I feel good with the new owners, you know, taking care of all those people and making sure that all the customers are in good hands. Mm -hmm. Overall, I, I felt like I just couldn't do it. I hate to admit that, but I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't keep going the way it was going. And then I felt bad because I, so we sold the company and the person that I sold it to was our main guy. And I'm like, dude, I, we gave him fair warning. Yeah. We gave was, him a lot of warning. Like, like, are you sure? And he saw Bert on a daily. So I talked to him at probably twice a day on average, at least. And I do still work for GRS controls part time. And, uh, and Anyway, I want to make sure that they're doing well and that they're succeeding. He's going to go help but, them out tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to go help them out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might bring you guys with me. Mm -hmm. Why not? Quick quick little little trip, little travel trip. 
Because he hasn't been gone long enough. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but this is just a day trip. So. But I do find it fascinating because there's, what's that term? Like if God closes a door, some t- he opens a window. He opens a window, yeah. And where GRS closed, um, then GRS contracting started, which we started really from my friend Steve, my business partner Steve, just to kind of help get him off the ground and going. And now here I, we're doing all this work. I'm, I'm doing a power plant in Coldfoot. Like what in the world? <laughs> So, and I almost feel like what we're doing now with GRS contracting and with Steve and his crew is accomplishing our first goal of GRS controls, mm. where I can kind of go out and I can make some money, you know, be able to put some food on the table and not have to work all the time and still mm-hmm. be present here in the family. So, yeah. Anyway, it's just and kind of fascinating. And you don't have to handle as much of the workload of the the stressors that come with it as much. And when I'm there on the job, this is like, I'm used to handling 10, 12 of these high stress jobs. And this is like one little job (laughs) and people are, you know, they were like, they didn't know how to do it. I'm like, Oh, we got this. This is no problem. You know, I'm rattling through the drawings. Yeah, we can do this, this, and this. What do you think about this? Making command decisions. And just like, this is, you know, I'm very grateful for the experience I have because it made something that to some people might be hard, be like super easy because it's just one project I had to work with. Cool. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I don't know if that answers some of the questions. I wish I could just say uh, yes or no. I don't regret oh, selling I the company. I think hindsight's always twenty twenty. There might have been a few little tweaks that we'd want to make, but I think as a general... Are you happy with the decision overall? I'm glad for the less stressors. I think finding your happy medium of being still working and not completely not working. Yeah. Finding what that looks like. Because it's very easy to become complacent. It's almost like we sort of shifted to that next stage of life. And there's just different stages, of course, when you're married and careers and all that kind of stuff. And And kids. And kids. Our kids are getting to different ages. But then we got Liv Biff. (laughs) You know? Just popped right in our life. (laughs) And, uh... So it's just, yeah, yeah, it's it's different. It's a different dynamic. But I think overall it's good. Yeah. This is the year, like you're saying, this is... I don't know if you've told them this, but the year of work. It's the year of work. It's the year of work and big things that we need to accomplish and we need to get done. So... Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it, and we're, we're going to do it do together. It. Yep. And I'll bring you guys along with as many as little adventures as we take, show you parts of Alaska. Mm-hmm. But all of this happens, though, because it's all centered around family and the things that are important in life. And um, I think that's pretty much the majority of what we do. We try to just center on family and trying to keep things the main thing. Try to keep family keep, the main yeah, thing. Yeah, keep the main thing the main thing. That's something we've said ever since we were younger. Yeah. Okay. I'm tired. You guys are awesome. <laughs> With that, we'll probably see you guys in the next video. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home.